What's going on, guys? Troublesome here, back with another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, it's January 1st on recording date. You'll see this on the 2nd, and Christmas decorations are still up. That needs to go. So, Gollywog made a mod, and <laughs> it's a Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR. It's from the late 90s, and if you mouse over... Oh, wow, that took a lot of stuff off. If you mouse over the car on the uh, workshop page... <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting over it. If you mouse over the car on the workshop page, it says, Not the GTR everybody was requesting. <laughs> Which means he must have got a ton of requests for the Nissan GTR. Uh, I'm not sure how long this has been in there, but anyway, this is the... Uh, Oh, uh, well, Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR. We're going to make believe, I don't know, we're going to make believe here that this is the road version of this car, to which there were only 35 produced, which is oh, that's crazy low numbers. Uh, the, there was a racing version, and there was a road version, and there were only 35 of the road version produced, which is, man, that's low numbers. So like in 98 and 99 is when they made it. Ooh, brown. How did I get stuck with brown? In 98 and 99 when they made it, it actually set a Guinness World Record for most expensive production car ever at the time. And it was like $1.4 million, which was freaking unheard of. Because like relatively speaking, the Diablo, which was the Lamborghini of the day, was like 250 300 maybe. So yeah this was an expensive mug I'm gonna go ahead and fix these body parts what I can put them back on and paint it before I touch anything else because that brown is killing killing me now I'm not really sure why but these textures these thumbnail textures I don't know they, they didn't turn out I don't know if that requires a lot of extra work or what but uh, because another thing that I noticed is you can't open this. It's just a, a fender. The doors do open, and they kind of open in a gull wing, but a front angled gull wing. And then this piece back here, you also can't open. So I don't know what's up with that, but uh, you know it is what it is. The model looks really good. I've never painted a car silver on here, and I bet it's not easy. But that's what we're going for: is silver. Oh, that wasn't that hard. <laughs> that's pretty freaking easy. Uh, me. I don't want to touch it because I'm afraid I'll screw it up, but I'm going to. Oh, that doesn't do anything either. Okay, well, I think that's a pretty good color. What do you guys think? Yeah, looks good to me. Pretty much every picture you ever see of these, they're either silver or black, and silver, I think, is the more popular one. And these wheels are pretty spot on uh, for what it came with. That's that's actually refreshing because a lot of times they're not. So I guess the big difference between this and the race car uh, was that the rear wing was more the hoop style, on, and I think it was like that on this one. And the... Um, Race car had the separated with the two pillars, you know, typical race car wing. So I guess this is technically the uh, road version of this car. It had a 6.9 liter V12. And the street legal version actually came with leather seats and uh, air conditioning. Uh, Mercedes added air conditioning to the street legal car. And traction control for driver's safety. The V12 produced 604 horsepower. And AMG claimed 214 mile an hour top speed. Don't know if it was ever confirmed or not. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier. I did get this car at the auction house for like 300 and something, 
twenty thousand. I don't remember. It was, it was substantial. But that gives me a lot of hope for what it might bring when it's done. Mo money, mo money, mo money. So I guess I'm gonna have to take these back off to access some of these components. That is an impressive engine cover. Hmm. <laughs> I'm betting that the reason that that stuff isn't hinged is because it's such a big monstrosity of a part. Uh, I don't know how it works, but I bet finding hinge points for pivot points for some of these huge, crazy things is is difficult in mod making. I don't know. I, I have read some of the mod makers comments and stuff like that, and it seems like uh, it's a little bit of a challenge to do some of the scissor doors and the gullwing doors. Since nothing in this game actually has that. Okay. All right. Uh, first things first, battery over here on charger, because it seems to be something that I like to forget. And I'll drop this engine off here. Then I'm going to fix up the parts that I took off the suspension. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of components. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, well, that's good. Now I'm going to dismount the tires because I want to try to fix these rims. Because I'm actually not going to even change them. I do need to write down that tire size, though. Wow, that is a monster. 325 front and rear. And a 30 series in the rear and a 25 series in the back. So basically, the front one is just a little bit lower profile than the back. But that is a monster. Oh, get these all yanked off of here, get some tires, fix up the rims, remount balance. Then I should be able to throw the suspension back together pretty flawlessly. I am going to go with the race tire. I don't know why. It just seems appropriate. 19,335. And then 25 for the front. And then two, 19, three thirty-five, thirties. What a back. Three thirty-five, twenty-five, shiny and new. That might actually be the same tire that was on there. I really didn't pay attention if it was a race or a sport. Whoa. Hmm. Tap, tap, tap. It's not working. Okay. Here we go with the suspension. Good start. Good start. Okay, guys, this is most likely nothing you have not seen before. So I will skip the suspension assembly and come back when I'm mounting the wheels. Guess what, guys? I ran out of struts. Pre-assembled strut assemblies. So I'm doing my, uh, you know, putting them together. Putting a bunch of them together. Just saves me grief later on. Well, I'm kind of a big fat liar. Uh, suspension's done, but so is the engine. Went ahead and did it. Supercharged uh, 
V8, pretty run-of-the-mill type of stuff. But I did go ahead and build it just, just to get it over with. Whilst I was off camera. So that's uh, where we're at. Now I'm going to put the transmission in, drive shaft, mount the wheels, and get that battery off the charger. Let's see what else. Oh, radiator. Got to do the radiator still. Oh, crap. Did I put the right one on there? I wasn't paying attention. I did not. The 25 goes on the front. That's the lower profile one. 25 right here percentage of the width of the overall width and I just did it again two times two times there we go and this one that is a no lose situation because it is the last one okay I still need to purchase some interior components and some license plates so i'll go ahead and get the plates now we will do germany uh as a homage homage or homage <laughs> to pay homage to gollywog i am making the personalized license plate from germany and it says wrong gtr which i think is super clever <laughs> oh but i think everything i do is super clever all right, Croatia. Oh crap! Wrong, wrong plate. Had a Croatia plate on it before. That is interesting. Okay, Miro, Miro. Ouch! Crap! I still gotta buy glass. Hmm. Also, where's that air cleaner box? This needs to go on before I put that engine cover on. Otherwise, I'll never get it in there. Okay, that's better. Air cleaner boxes in. Now I can put that big elaborate engine cover on there. And this big, huge, elaborate thing. Man, that's a monster. I wonder if that's one piece in real life. And the other Germany plate. And the glass. I need to get the glass. Uh, but for now, I'm going to put the transmission, starter, drive shaft, and... Oh, crap. You know what I didn't put on the last time I had the hood off? I did not put on that. I didn't put on that radiator. I bet I'm not going to be able to get to it without taking that freaking thing back off again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Drive shaft going straight through the crank pulley because mods. Okay, now I can't think I'm going to be able to get that radiator on. No, it's uh, there's nowhere for me to even access it. Dang it! Okay, battery there. Radiator. Man, that sucks. Wish there was a better way. I do not know what that would be, though. I do knew. Okay, well, that's everything. Now I can put this stuff back together. Again. Gonna waller out the bolt holes. And now for the glass. Okay, now for steering wheel, I'm just going to go with that one since I already got it. And then I got a couple of black leather seats, uh, racing style seats, because this thing had leather interior, according to lore. Also, I just looked at the stats, and I forgot to put a sway bar end link on up here, somewhere. There it is. I wonder if I did the other side. Man, that would handle crappy. If you forget that in real life. Um, looks like it's there. Okay, that should be all 100s. Yes. Only 628,000. I really expected this thing to go for over a million. That's kind of disappointing. 
Okay, boys and girls, there it is, sitting next to my Lamborghini Huracan. This is the Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR. Show you how the doors open real quick. That's how they open. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. That's going to do it for today, guys. Special thanks to Gollywog for making this mod for us. Uh, it's available on his workshop in Steam. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. If you like this video, hit that like button. Helps me out a bunch. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. I drop new videos every single day. Anyway, having said that, I appreciate you guys once again hanging out with me, and I will see you guys next time.